Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon again from Campbell Fitness. Or this is what I would sound and talk and look like if you were watching a video from about 10, 15 years ago. Now I gotta stop flexing so hard because well, I may look pretty jacked here. It's not natural, I'm like cave forward. But made a lot of videos like this in the past. So if you're a long time viewer, this is probably a familiar scene to you. If you're a more recent viewer in the last five, six, actually the last nine years since I've moved to the home gym, kind of got rid of the jersey and backward hat look I'm 43 now. I think I still pull it off. I think I still look pretty good, but just no need. Plus the basin's a little bit cold here in March. But bringing back the throwback look, the throwback vibe, as you can probably tell, this video today is about a customized jersey that I bought. Now, I got got on this. And what I mean by that is, scrolling Instagram, I get fed a lot of advertisements, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do. This was something that popped up customize jerseys. Now for me, obviously again, big interest in jerseys. I like sports memorabilia and all that other stuff. You've seen me rock a lot of other stuff over the course of my lifting videos, my training videos, I'm just into it in general, one of my side hobbies, as well as my kids these days are starting to get into sports and they're starting to ask for jerseys, which I'm happy to oblige. So it lets me scratch my itch and also get them into it a little bit as well. So when I saw this advertised to me at whatever time it was at night scrolling through my phone, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. But I was hesitant because I've gotten got on Instagram before with some like swim trunks, which were really low quality, really small. And it was a really big pain in the butt to try to get a refund on that stuff because a lot of times those companies through Instagram are what I consider like a shell company, meaning that like they change their name every couple of months and they just kind of push out a bunch of crap and they don't really have any kind of customer service or anything like that. So I was really worried that this might be the same, but. I took a flyer on it because it seemed interesting. Now, this particular jersey is from Fans Idea. I'm showing you the back right here. I'll talk about it in general. But basically, when you go on their website, you have a whole bunch of different options from different jerseys you can pick from and other clothing as well, from like jackets and stuff, but like baseball, football, hockey, basketball, all bunch of stuff. I was more concerned with the basketball jerseys in this case, but you go to the basketball jersey page and it gives you a ton of different mock-ups of jerseys. So you pick the design and the color you like and the look that you like, and then you can go in there and customize it slightly. And I say slightly because you don't just have like a blank canvas to work with where you pick the style, you pick if it has pinstripes, you pick if it has certain fonts on the nameplate, certain fonts for the numbers. No, instead what they give you is a basic mock-up that's already predetermined in terms of the color, the fonts, the look, and then you can go and kind of change what that says on the front change if you're putting your own logo on it, where you're gonna put it, and just change what number's on it. So you don't have a ton of customization options depending on what you want, but they do have a ton of different options and a ton of different styles that emulate maybe some of your favorite teams and styles out there. You do have some stuff like if you wanna change the neckline, so I went with a rounded scoop neck because that's the style I grew up with. If you are a little bit younger than me, you might like some of the more like triangular type necklines. This is what I like. These colors are what I would probably say is San Antonio Spurs color. So this is very San Antonio inspired. They do have just a regular black and white version, but I really like this script look that I have on the front here. Uh, so this just made the most sense for me. I went with the word basement on here. Thought it was kind of fitting. On the back, I have my last name as well as the number 15. So 15 for me just represents when I made this basement gym journey. So switching from commercial gym to a home gym in 2015. And it does also have my naked squatter logo on the back, depending on if that wants to focus. It's kind of small, but size isn't always important. It's the fact that it's there and how you implement it. And I chose the back of the neck to do that. You also have options of the left or right chest, but I just think that would look a little bit off. And I think that back logo looks really good. Because again, like the NBA style, this is where the Jumpman logo is now. So overall, I think this looks very, very good. You do have a couple options also when you pick your template as well. Like you have the option of getting stitched letters or you have the option of getting printed on letters. I went stitched because I like that look better. And you can see that there are some stitching in here and I'll show you some close-ups of it. But unlike some of the other jerseys out there, like the one I'm wearing right now, which is a Nike Swingman, all this stuff is like heat pressed on. So sometimes they use like fake stitching just to make it look stitched. But when you flip this out, you can tell it's not actually stitched. This one, someone actually went through and stitched this as you can see, which I think is pretty sweet. Same thing on the back, everything is stitched. Now I will say though, the things that are stitched are all flat, meaning that even though the layer on the front 
has a couple different colors in there. And in like in a real professional type jersey or logo, especially like baseball, you'd have like all these different layers stitched on. This stuff is just printed. So printed and then cut out. And that one flat layer is then sewn on. Same thing with mine on the back, the logo there. That would be pretty hard to make a stitched logo inside that's just printed. And I will say that printing is kind of blurry, but from far away, I mean, you can't really tell. It's not until you get up close that you really notice that, hey, it's not the highest resolution in there, but it's still very good considering what this jersey was. So I paid $57 for this jersey delivered to my door. That's basically broken down as 20 some dollars for the base cost of the jersey. And then based off of my inputs for customization, which was like, you know, the stitched look, the logo on the back, that added about another $25 or so, and then a few bucks for shipping. I also had a 10% off discount code, which I'll probably put on because it's just a basic code. I think it's probably good for anything. But $57 delivered to my door for this, which I think is pretty high quality when compared to something like this Nike Swingman jersey, which retails for like 120 bucks. And they're along the same lines of quality. So like the material itself for the base jersey feels pretty good. So does this one. Actually, like I said before, these are actually stitched on, whereas these are not. I think just like the actual printing, if you will, of the colors on the Nike jersey are better. But again, you're paying twice the cost potentially. And the fact that you can customize this is a nice feature as well. So $57 for this, pretty good deal, relatively speaking, in my mind. Now, some things to call out on this is the shipping on this took about a month. So from when I ordered it to when it was delivered, a little over a month. They give you some tracking information, which happened to be in Chinese half the time they sent it to me, and also not very accurate. What I mean by that is one of my tracking that they provided me said, it's out for delivery at your location. It listed my town on there did not come. I reached out to the company and they said, oh no, it's not there yet. And they gave me a different tracking number, which said it was in Chicago and it ended up being more accurate in terms of using that number to track. Uh, but customer service was pretty responsive and they gave me good insight every time, but you could definitely tell you weren't speaking a, to a native English speaker. Uh, but $57 and four weeks later, pretty happy with this overall. And I probably would recommend them. I think that that's a good cost for a customizable jersey. If you're doing something for like a team or something like that, I think there's discounts if you order multiples. Uh, but for a singular one-off piece that's customized, I feel like that's a pretty fair price overall. Now, the only other thing I really call out about this, that maybe just like nitpicking, if you're used to wearing like basketball style jerseys, typically on the bottom of the jersey, sometimes you have more of like a scoop bottom or you have a split on the side and the back is a little bit longer. In this case, it's just kind of a straight cut across. Again, I'll show you some other B-roll of it. There's no split on the side, but it fits pretty good. This is a large, this is a large as well, or size 48, if you will, depending on how you size stuff. This is just a large and they fit pretty similarly. So again, if you're interested, fans idea, pretty good custom jerseys and I would probably order from them again. If you have any other questions I didn't answer, leave them in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.